a fair share of speculation has been floating around in the Idaho 4 case. Web sleuths looked at everyone close to the victims. And I don't think the name Brian Koberger crossed anyone's mind before he was arrested in December. After his arrest, the speculation went on. Did Brian act alone or did he have an accomplice, a getaway driver? That's when we started to hear the name Brent Kapaka. I'm sure many of you have already heard the name Brent Kapaka. There are some really great videos online, going in depth about this guy, and who he is exactly. I've seen multiple comments throwing around the question, did Brian Koberger know Brent Kapaka? Brent Kapaka, was a US Army veteran was fatally shot by a SWAT officer during a standoff near the Washington University campus. Brian and his father were pulled over twice within a 9 minute time span, while making a 2,500 mile cross country trip. In one of the body cam videos, Brian was seen discussing an incident near Washington State University, where a SWAT team killed an armed man amid a standoff. I must say when I watched that body cam footage, I found his statement very interesting. Many believe that Brian was actually talking about the incident involving Brent. On 14 December, police responded to a scene in Pullman, where Brent was threatening to kill his roommates. Police tried to talk to him, but he barricaded himself in the apartment and started firing shots at police, which caused a member of the SWAT team to fire several shots back at him. There are a number of unconfirmed rumors going around online, which include Brian and Brent knew each other, since their residences were close to each other. Others also allege that Brent is the one who sold Brian the K-Bar knife. 